scholars, welcome to Taganic Falls State Park in Ithaca, New York. Taganic Falls State Park is located in the Finger Lakes region of our state and is almost 150 miles away from Buffalo. If traveling by car, that trip would take you almost two and a half hours. Hundreds of thousands of people visit Taganic Falls State Park every year to take in the natural beauty of the surrounding landscape. As you can see on this map, fresh water winds its way through a network of small capillary lake creeks before collecting and falling over Taganic Falls, located here. Taganic Falls is the tallest freestanding waterfall in the Northeast United States, reaching 33 feet higher than Niagara Falls. Water then travels through deep, striking gorges, eventually emptying into nearby Cayuga Lake, a long, narrow body of water that stretches north over 60 square miles. While Cayuga Lake and Taganic Falls are stunning in their scale, I'm much more interested in some of the smaller details, like the walls of the surrounding gorge. Do you notice that there seem to be layers of different colors in the rock? What about these tiny indentations in the creek bed? Or these piles of rock chips, scattered like broken glass across the ground? All of these are signs of something extraordinary. Evidence that the landforms of Taganic Falls are alive! Well, no, they're, they're not alive like you and me. But the landforms of Taganic Falls do grow and change. Gorges, waterfalls, lakes, these landforms are constantly changing. Shape, size, even location. This may seem confusing at first, because landforms usually look like they're standing still. But these changes happen gradually, over very long periods of time, hundreds thousands, even millions of years. Remember those indentations in the creek bed? Those are formed through a process called chemical weathering, when slightly acidic rainwater falls on the rock and eats away at it. Or these piles of chipped stones, these likely formed through a process called physical weathering, when water makes its way into existing cracks, freezes, and expands. These small changes add up over time. If we were to visit Taganic Falls a thousand years in the future, we may not even recognize it. A visit here is an amazing reminder that the ground we stand upon is dynamic and ever-changing. How do chemical and physical weathering work? What other forces help to shape the landforms of Taganic Falls? And what did Taganic Falls look like 12,000 years into the past? 